Hello, we'll be talking about brush types in this lesson. We'll learn how to use each type of brush so that it's less overwhelming. There are many brushes, right? I'll give you some examples of the important ones that we should know. I'll also give you some examples of the brushes that we'll use in this course. The sketching brushes are used for drafting and drawing, but you can use it as a color pencil for detailing as well. I like to use the soft pastel brush for the first step of drafting. Then, I use the peppermint brush on top of it because it's easier to control the overall structure. The brushes that I often use are the 6B pencil brush and the peppermint brush. The next group is the inking brushes, which we use to draw line art over our sketches. It's suitable for people who like ink style or use a pen to draw. In addition to ink drawing, I also use it to create shapes for filling the colors in. Usually, I'll use the technical pen brush. The next group is the drawing group. We use this type to create light and shadow. It's suitable for black and white artwork, or you can use it for detailing as well. For example, the Eagle Hawk brush is the brush that we'll use very often in this course. The next group is the calligraphy brush group, which is suitable for lettering. Almost every brush will give you a thin line when you write upward and a thick line when you write downward, a behavior that simulates physical calligraphy brushes. There's also a brush without any weight like the monoline brush. When you write with this brush, the alphabet turns out very cute. It'll look minimalist. You can use it for many types of work, whether it's illustration or design. The next group is painting. This is the most important group, and you can use these brushes in many ways. There are a lot of them to choose from. All types of brushes in this group are considered painting brushes. A good painting brush must give a solid outcome, so when we fill the color in, the color will be filled completely and distinctly. However, the pressure we use while painting matters a lot too. You should have one or two brushes that you're very comfortable with and practice with those brushes until you master them. They will be your go-to brushes and will help you paint more efficiently. The brushes that we'll often use are the Tamar Cloud Brush and the Hard Brush. Lastly, the Textures Brush Group or other brush groups that add more flavor and detail to our work. First, you should use the Painting Brush to make the light and shadow perfect. Then, use the Texture Brush on top of it. In addition, Procreate has many default brushes for you to choose from. For example, when you want to paint water, there's a water texture brush for you to use. If you want to paint grass, there's a brush that provides a grass-shaped finish just like the one I'm using. We just have to choose the brush and the color, then start painting. It's as simple as that. There are so many tools that can help you get better at digital painting. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. As a thank you, loyal subscribers receive a 10% discount on my Procreate Masterclass. Check the description for coupon code. See you in the next video!